Hello, my name is Mary Chu, one of Bentley's Open Buildings Learning Content Specialists. I am also a registered architect and worked for many years with leading architectural firms, both as an architect and a CAD and BIM manager. I would like to welcome you to Learning Open Buildings Designer. So what do you need to know before taking this course? Well, this course is designed for a new Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition user and builds a solid foundation in the concepts, tools, and features found within the Open Buildings 3D design modeling environment. This course consists of a series of short videos centered around a small transportation station. You will build the entire 3D model, starting with a conceptual block model and finishing with a building information model. A few basic drawings, a plan, a section, and elevations are already set up in the model, and you will see those populated with information as you build the 3D model. We will be starting at the very beginning by launching Open Buildings Designer, creating a new project work set, and creating a design file, then starting some conceptual block modeling, navigating the design model, while becoming generally familiar with working in a 3D BIM environment. You will then move on to placing basic structural elements, such as columns, beams, and footings, and then architectural elements, such as walls, doors, and windows, adding information to each element as you build the model. You will then lay out the building interior, adding spaces, casework, equipment, and furniture. In the final chapter, you will apply what you have learned by using tools and techniques from this course in conjunction with more advanced modeling techniques to model a custom platform roof canopy. While this course does not require specific knowledge about architecture or engineering to learn the fundamentals of open buildings powerful tools, it is helpful to have a basic understanding of building design and CAD software. Do you need open buildings or other BIM software experience? Not at all. While the experience is good to have, it's not necessary for this course. You should have a working knowledge of Windows operating system, how to navigate files and folders, and how a mouse functions. The course was written for use with the latest version of Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. While some of the interface may be slightly different across versions, the tools, workflows, and concepts learned here remain the same. So welcome to Learning Open Buildings Designer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.